Good morning, hardcore gamers, and welcome back to Wafma, the Brawler Hardcore Challenge. And here I am, back in Moss Sword, and I'm just going to very quickly clear out my bags. Let's see how much money I actually make from clearing out the bags. So, just quickly power through this. I know a lot of these items I'm just going to be selling and keeping that because it's. I uh, don't need tin anymore. If that's food, need the food. Don't need bronze anymore, so we've completed that. Get rid of copper. So I've already made a fair bit of fair bit of silver. I wouldn't even see gold made a fair bit of silver so far. So you should be able to hear that my audio is substantially better now. I am uh I just crank that my uh, gain up. And I'm essentially shouting as I record. Realised that my second episode was almost silent. So it's doing a really well for a, my second episode of, this, of the series. Um, however, no one can actually hear what I'm saying. So I guess it's not me that's making them, uh, making you guys watch these videos. It's actually just Lord of the Rings. Which is fine by me. Lord of the Rings is a great uh, kind of IP. Almost finished selling the bags. And then we'll get on with today's... Um, Today's question, what are we going to be doing today? So the main story has us looking for Tegwin, the child um, that essentially we spent a lot of time, I would say around, but that's a bit creepy. The child that we've, uh, we've encountered with the story. Uh, he has gone missing, unfortunately, or fortunately, depends who you ask. Um, so he's gone missing. So he's, so I need to go to Clan Garan to speak to the rangers, uh, the ranger again. So we're going to head into Wadewater and look for uh, Tegwin. So I'm just going to fast travel to the next town. This is a relatively quick path. I've got to uh, hide my... Hide my chat. So here we are. We're now in Clan Garan. There's Isengard, again. I'm going to always keep pointing that out, because I think that's really cool. Here we go, this ranger will want to talk to us. There we go. So now I've got the main story quest and these two quests for this town to move into this waters. Um, and essentially killing a load of uh, Avanks. And that's about it. Yeah, need to kill a load of Advanks, get their um, eggs. I'm just going to hide this one. So now there's a festival started. I'm just going to... Um, I probably won't do the festival, to be quite honest. I don't tend to do the festivals, uh, even on my main account. I know they're quite interesting. I just I just play the game to punch stuff, to be quite honest. Here we are, we've now made it into the swamps themselves, of the Wade Water, I believe it's called. And I'm stuck behind a rock and... Well, I'm just stuck behind a rock. Not even a hard place. So the eggs are just up here, just in these reeds. When I'm grabbing the eggs, I will be annoying a lot of these... Avanks. I need to learn how to actually read these animals' names. It's an egret. Isn't that a name of a human? You can get... Yeah. Wherever it is, it's it's not with us anymore. Just wanna try and speed speed run this. I do want to get to uh Cardolan as soon as possible. Here you go, let's get into some of their their nests now. Need to be very cautious that I've got all these poisons on me. So I'm actually going to run away now. Because these poisons are quite deadly. And I can't do anything about them other than use a health potion if my health gets too low. That's a bit worrying. I use a health potion just in case. So I don't have a a purge skill yet. 
so just killing those mobs although it's um they're significantly lower level than i am almost half my level dots and poisons on this difficulty absolutely wreck you so i'm going to go to this back to the town i'm going to jump on tiny i'm going to run back to the town one i can set my milestone there so i can teleport straight back to the town once i'm done and two i'm going to go to the healer and grab some potions mainly because i don't want to die to a dot if i die in combat this is the kind of Valhall the, the Valhallic way of dying the viking way if i died to a, a dot um then that's not very um kosher to me and i will be very unhappy i think dying to a dot and it's an old an old english king died to a a, a poison he um no he wasn't a poison he had someone's head mounted to the back of his horse and as he was riding his horse the the skull of this uh, deceased person's head bit his leg and the bite um, into his leg actually uh, festered and uh, he died from the um essentially the wound the the um what's it called he died from the infection that happened from the bite mark it's quite interesting so you're welcome. That's your daily bit of bit of law, real life law. I could have just made that up. I heard that a very long time ago when I was younger in school, so I probably made that up. So if it is true, let me know what the story is <laughs> down below in the comments. If it isn't true, just tell me to shut up and stop talking. Um, either one is is uh, is valid. So I spent a lot of my money there. Spent. 120 silver on these potions the dots and the debuffs in this game correlate to a set color so red tends to be bleed effects or wound effects purple tend to be some form of fear uh, yellow is a disease and green is a poison these are on a different cooldown to the healing potions so don't don't have to worry about accidentally using one by accident but they do have the same cooldown as themselves so if i use a um, a poison potion that will put a cooldown on all of the potions they're expensive but they will save my life and i got these stronger ones because they will last longer i they have an effect of a maximum effect of 30 on these ones i think maximum effect of 30 will take me up to like level level 40 level 50 i think it should do me well up until moria so I'm not guaranteed to need these, but they're good to have. I will try and always have a stack of these or a, a contingent of them in my bag, just in case. Because again, I don't want to die to a dot. If I die valiantly in battle, yes, I, I can live with that. I'll be annoyed, but I'll be, I can live with that. If I die unvaliantly to a, a, a dot, a damage over time, that is, I will not be happy. <clears throat> So now I'm in the middle of the the city, the territory for these guys. I'm gonna grab this backpack. Get anything good from it? I've got a uh, armor smith uh, recipe. So here the game's uh, got a bit of a uh, bit of a server lag here, which is not ideal. It does happen from time to time. It's not the um, not the perfect, not a perfect game. I should be okay in this combat. There you go. So now, as you can see, it's green. If I pop my green pot potion, when the server leg's not, there we go. Pop the green potion. It's now gone. I've used up a potion. The cooldown is only about 30 seconds. So it's a quick cooldown compared to the, your normal potions you can have. I do need to remember I have got this stun here. So if it looks like they're going to do a, a larger attack, I can use that stun um, to negate the fact that they're building up an attack. But I, but I can kill them in a couple hits. 
So I've not put this on, but only put this on Fearless 3. Once this character dies, my next character will be on Heroic 2, uh, Heroic 2 9. But Heroic 9, higher difficulty 2. So the maximum difficulty you can possibly have. And I will be solo in it uh, as a hardcore. This is really just to test out the waters while I uh, test it on a second account, a second character. I found that it is viable, but doing content on your level is very difficult. So now I've done the testing on a different character. I should be okay uh, to then jump in as a brawler uh, as soon as I this character perishes. If it doesn't perish, great. I won't. I may have to make a second series, but if it does perish, um, then I'll just remake on the hardest difficulty. I know my thumbnail is a bit misleading, so it does say maximum difficulty. But it's maximum difficult for a single player. Um, it just should it should say increased difficulty. I know, but I got that commissioned and they they got the uh, wording wrong. So we'll continue to clear this. So I've done the two quests for the town themselves. Now I'm helping the ranger find Tegwin. Uh, I've just listened for him. Apparently. I sounded like he was from this uh, in this area in this in this dist uh, in this direction. That's the word I'm looking for. And then continue to follow this little uh, this swamp down. There is just round here on this the end of the, one of these two islands here. There's another treasure cache, which I'll go and pick up as well. There you go, abandoned wooden sword. Oh, he's got teleports. Another seem to be sword. Another person in the uh, Lord of Rings world that can teleport. <laughs> I wish I had the bit to teleport. That would be pretty cool. I wouldn't do anything with it, I wouldn't do anything cool, I'd just teleport. Yeah, I want to go to the fridge to get a block of cheese at three in the morning. No. Teleport. Done. Here's Mr. Tegwin. Hello, Tegwin. You silly bugger. I'm here. I'm here. I'll get Balgorn that's going to tend to self off bad bit. And then this guy wants me to go back to town. That must be Fine. Okay, he just said the, the town name, so it's Karas Galibrit. Galib Galibrin. That's what how you that's how you pronounce it. Unless I hear someone pronounce and it's some of these words, I will just struggle, so. And it's a bit painful. So that's that quest done. He, he now wants me to go up and start the quest in the old Elven city. Just want to just check. Okay, so essentially in the story we're finding out where the Yorks came from. It looks like they, they've they're coming from this city here. Which makes sense, it's an old ruin. You know, they tend to, in Lord of the Rings kind of lore, they tend to forget that old cities exist. And that, you know, the denizens of the evil kind of world tend to congregate in these old cities. So it should be here somewhere. I think I'm on the right island. Should be a, there's the treasure, I ran straight past it. This treasure just on this island here. Is that, that complete? What did I get? Got a potion, and I got a. Is it? I got healing potion as well. It's fine. So these purple healing potions tend to be the same strength and potency as your next potion you can unlock, the normal potion. So here, there's lesser does 200 to 300. This is the upgraded version of the lesser, which is does four to six. Then my next one will do four to six. So it's the upgraded version. Now I'd mount on uh, Tiny. 
You know what? This is a bit of a bit of a long-winded journey, so I'm gonna return to um Kligga and then use the fast travel to get to Klangalan. Just to speed this up. I don't really want to be doing the walking simulator today. No, thank you. Do, 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 do. Stable master. Thank you. As I move, I can take a quick sip of coffee. Anything to spice up my morning. Do hope everyone's having a great day. Well, a great morning. Well, whenever you're watching this, can we good morning, afternoon, evening. There you go. Now we're back into this town. We can hand in these quests to assist. Uh, Colhook. However you say his name. He, I think he's the chef of this town. I'm just going to help him out. This will be the kind of drawing down the quests for this town. There won't be many more after this, and then I'll be able to head north. Making essentially Swan Fleet, this bottom path of Swan Fleet, of Mossward, Kelliger, and these two Hobbit towns, as well as Klangaran, tend to be the make up the most of the running around in this area. They are running around for these two quests, uh, quest hubs, uh, for Wester Region and this city. Uh, however, the, 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 all the quests tend to be centralised. So you're going to run around for three or four quests that are going to be roughly in the same location. So it speeds it up massively. And now I'm going to taste his, taste his cooked food. I was going to say meat. That would just sound horrendous. Sounds like my dwarf's eating with his mouth open. That's uh, disgusting manners. Go up here and talk to Eluna. Eluna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a better cloak. Happy I did that. Right. Talk to Eluna again. So now this is essentially the. There's like two different clans of these 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 people essentially. Uh, so you're essentially arranged, you're essentially here as backup. But you're hiding behind this rock. See, I'm not so sure how much they're hiding because the tops of their heads are pointing over the top of the rock. But I'm definitely hiding. They're trying to reason with an old friend of his or hers. So trying to re reason with um, Arden or Arden. As he reasons with them, it goes slightly awry uh, because there is uh, some people up here. So we're here to essentially uh, provide backup and almost be an ambush, but the ambush gets ambushed, which you'll see in a minute. Oh, look at that towel. Like, nope, no, gotta stop, stop looking at the vistas. Pay attention to the game. By, so when I first uh, did this a couple of times, I was like, oh, you know, I'll just hide behind this big rock here. It's a bigger rock. I was playing as a, um, a high elf, so my head did pop over the top. It doesn't make a difference. This is the rock you hide behind. If you hide behind that rock, you'll, um, you'll fail the quest. You have to redo it. If you pop out early as well, you'll fail the quest. There you go. The ambush. Ambush of the ambush. If I pop out now, it'll fail. Well, you have to keep a Luna alive. Uh, she's got plenty of health. She should be able to hold her own for a bit. Once the once the fight starts. Oh, 
trees. Lots of trees. Quite long winded, do apologize. I like that, that actually looks like a face. This is probably the most long winded um, little quest in this area. Once this is done, everything should be relatively quick. You have got the kind of story quest of the Elven City. That that doesn't actually take that long in comparison. Choose my AoE attack. Want to aim for the captain first. Not as if it makes too much damage. They don't do dots, so I'm not too worried. And there we go. Is that clear? What does break before me mean? Oh, look at that beard. What a beard. Margaret? Margaret. I got them. I said done. I'm starting to lose my mind doing this. There we go. Welcome, traveller. May the spirit be with you. And then just talk to all of our friends, make sure everyone's in good mood. And that is that complete. So now I can move on to the next quest. Which I will do happily. And keep hold of that because I've earned that. It's just a uh, cosmetic for my house. When I get a house, I get a load of these task items as well. I can use them when I get to Cardolan. Should be able to get to Cardolan today in today's grind. Maybe. But um, I'll be doing my. Videos in bulk. But I'll probably be focusing on, on I have to say again, probably focusing on Lord of Rings Online. I'd really enjoy this game, do a couple series. I might, while doing this series, probably do a Guardian, or a Dwarven Guardian on the hardest difficulty. Let's see how well that goes. Because I think Guardians are my favourite class, and there is a wee rework due out very soon so whether i wait for the rework which i might which i probably will do once the reworks out i play the guardian hard difficulty on yeah um and see how far i can get on hardcore i'll try and solo all the content as well it's all the dungeons i'll try and do the same on this account if i'm soloing the dungeons i'll probably be a few levels higher than the dungeons themselves just but because i'm not going to restrict my leveling when i get to that dungeon i'll do the dungeon I can't remember what I've said for the rules. I think I've said like three, three, maybe five levels higher than the dungeon itself, I think. I think the maximum I'll be five levels higher than every dungeon I do. Raid, I'll see if I can do a raid. Um, I'll probably need other players to do a raid with me. So I'll try and do raids near enough on level. Maybe once again, probably five levels above would be the, the cutoff. Anything higher than five levels, then I'll probably uh, even leave the raid until max level. Or if I do do the raids, I don't know. I've yet to, yet to decide. So I like because a raid can wipe you regardless, even even if you're nearly max level. If you do the mechanics wrong, you can generally still wipe on a raid. So I think raids would be more mechanic driven rather than, like as they'll say, um, mechanic driven rather than uh, as in damage wise. First things first, always grab the stable master to get back here quicker. And second thing is going to grab that milestone. I keep forgetting about milestones. Although I've got an hour left on my cooldown. 50 minutes. 
It's good to have the milestone here. And then this is a new ranger I've not met before. You bring word from Benildia. <laughs> I've been keeping watch over these lands for quite some time. And it troubles me. The shadow grows older. Okay. Alas for Karas Galebrin. Alas for the Myrdai. Alas for Karas Galebrin. Alas for the Myrdai. Yeah, I said the same. same thing. So what I'm going to do here. And here is the first quest, which is a trivial quest. You can see it on my minimap. I move away. See that there is a quest on my minimap, but not. So I thought I was just about to sneeze. Will you lend me your ear? But Will you it doesn't appear above their head. It means that we're uh, too high of a level. However, I will still do these quests. There's no harm in doing them. And my intention is to head out the east gate, uh, east area, so I can tick this uh, scout off. Head up here, take out these walks. Head round here and take out these turtles. Once the turtles are dealt with, I will head back round to the west approaches. Head round to the west approaches, scout here, back into the town, and then do our do the city itself. I got a bit of a cold. To keep having to mute the mic just to uh, blow my snotty nose. Which I'm sure no one wants to know about, but hey. I'm an open kind of guy. See, now the, diff the level of the mob monsters have very quickly caught back up with me. So they're roughly my same level. So I can take a few of them out quite easily. As you make your way across this really cool bridge. I'm not going to say it. You're going to say it. Look at that vista. Damn, I said it. What's, what's up there? What's that? It's there. Region, what is there? Oh, it's that town, which I'm not going to pronounce. So there's a town there as well. Ah, oh, that's that explain. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain this later on. I go down there. I'll explain it now, bugger it. Um, so, there is an item which we need to jump off here, down here, and go by this waterfall uh, to pick up one of the deed items. This whole kind of mini city here is blocked off. I've, you, you probably can get through it if you really tried, but it probably makes sense it's blocked off because it's the part of the ne a different zone. Oh, sorry, bird. Did I, did I intrude on you? I do apologise. But... That bird did not enjoy my company. Oh, pardon. Oh, that bird does not enjoy my company again. I don't know what I've done to annoy these birds, but... Probably existed, to be fair. I had... I was going to say having two legs, but birds also have legs. Um, I'm not a vet, but or veterinarian, but I uh, think I understand a little bit about bird anatomy. And they've got two legs. Sometimes, sometimes they have two legs. Oh. Oh. Just got attacked by a tree. Trees are always scary. That's a few more walks. So I'm just clearing out these walls. Got six of them to take out. I could go the really long way because there is a camp of walks just up here to the north. Um, but that's a really long way to go. You do have to go there later on, but I'm not going to go there just yet. So keep an eye on this dot I've got here. So fears don't, don't always do damage. They tend to do, that could be a, a rather large debuff. I'm just 
being conscious of this bleed I've got here. But my health seems to be rather... Uh, seems to be able to take that debuff quite nicely. Just going to grab some more of these walks. One more walk, and there he is. It's the first hour of sound I've seen in a while. And I guess I've, the battles haven't lasted long enough for them to, for it to actually proc. My next goal is this area here, which is this little camp of turtles. There also has, I think there's a, there's not a treasured cache in there, but there is the, the random items you need to pick up for the deed. There's some in there. Which I will speed myself getting there. Going there at warp speed. Yeah, that's warp speed over. Managed to uh, teleport to this outskirts of this town very quickly. But for you guys at least. For me, it wasn't that quick. Yeah, the outskirts of this little, uh, this little ruin. And now I've got to take out some moss turtles inside the ruin. There we go. Now I'm in the zone. I can now start taking these out. There is a chance of a... Just Jesus Beam. There you go. Got hit by it. There is a chance of a unique spawn in here, which is one of the Slayer deeds in this area. Uh, but he's not guaranteed to spawn. I can't remember his name, but he's, his ears unique. To help this guy, he somehow managed to get his foot stuck on. I'm guessing it's going to be a root or on air. Looks like he probably got stuck on air, to be honest. So there's a treasure cache in here. I didn't think there was one. There's treasure cache inside this little ruin here. And a backpack. Grab the backpack first, see if I get anything good. Not particularly. Fine. Open the treasure cache. And this is the cache of old notes is for the... Okay, I've got anything there. Oh, I've got some silver ore. Fine. Cache of old notes is for the explorer deed. We only need like two more items and I'll be done with that. So I now need some flowers. And that is the unique just over there on this stone table. So if you look on the map, it's just on this, pretty much in the center of this white circle. Uh, where did he go? Stone back, there he is. So I know he's in this area. I'm going to just grab some more of these flowers. Build up some met metal on these guys before I fight Stoneback. That really want to attack. I have to fight two of them at once. He has got a lot of health. Right, I use my Brash Invitation now. Use some of my um, damaging skills. Okay, so he now has. Oh, it says toughness. Now he's got regen on him as well. I'm going to bring him out. Use my draw battle. Bring him further away from that AoE heal. There you go. This get him out of this Jesus beam. Terrible camera angles here. Use serious demeanor again. Bring him out of this circle again. There we go, I've almost had, almost got him. Use a potion. Better be safe and sorry, and that's him down. Oh, got my health very low just then, very low. But that is one of the Slayer Deeds done. If you do the Slayer Deeds on level, uh, it's going to be quite difficult to do them on level because some of them are, um, by the time you get to them, you may be overleveled them. But the Slayer Deeds are quite difficult on uh, this difficulty. As you can see, I popped pretty much everything I could physically pop. I uh, got quite unlucky with him having the, the Sauron debuff, the corruption buff, I should say, of the toughness. So turtles are already relatively tough creatures. For them to have additional toughness on top of that is quite difficult. But I'm getting close to getting the corruption removal uh, skill. 
grab some more flour and rushes. Should be all of the flame rushes. How many? I need to kill one more of the turtles. Then I can head to this area here and grab that as well. That's all of the flowers I need. There we go. That's all of that. I believe that's all the quests. Yes. So now I need to head to this west side to check the approaches. Um, which is for the approaches. So you need to check where the uh, Urukai can physically move and travel. It's not just Yorokai now, there are, there are normal orcs, and there's also some goblins up there, I believe. I think goblins are more of the eastern area, just around the here, but there are some goblins up there. Because I believe this is where I can start doing my MIT of goblins, which gives me my class, nope, my race deeds. So I'll just make my way across. Almost there. These trees look pretty. They look like I've seen better days. Looks almost like this bonsai tree I once tried to grow. Looks almost exactly the same. Dead. There we go. It's just here. It should be, yep, yeah, there we go. Done. Apparently this river poses a natural natural barrier. Um, it looks more of a ford, so you can cross a ford quite easily. My understanding that rivers you can walk through don't tend to pose much of a difficulty. And then I'm, I'm no mere expert. But if you can walk through a river and it's only ankle deep, that shouldn't stop your your force from invading or attacking somewhere. But once again, I'm no meter expert. I could be wrong. Like a, a real river like this, you you wouldn't want to cross a cross. You'd struggle to cross, especially with a load of armor and weapons. But if you can walk through it, yeah, I think that's slightly different. So yes, once again, I'm just being pinicky. There's nothing wrong with the game in that respect. And just up here. I'm going to hand in all these quests and I'm going to start heading up here into the city itself. Hand all these in. So, this Slayer Deed, you need to hand back in. Where do I hand it in? Poison. I thought it was down in this. Oh, it's down here. Okay, I really didn't see that just then. Fine. I thought it was in um, the city, the town at the bottom. Need to deliver some pelts up there. Fine. So that's already pushed me to the next uh, next kind of quest hub. Have I have to check these ruins out first? Here we go. I'm not going to bother with fighting that guy. He's not a Yurok, so he doesn't count for my Slayer deed. He's just an Orc. One Orky boy. Some dead Yurks here. Yurks. Just checking their bodies. And there's a there's a high off here. Yeah, give me a ring. That's quite a good ring. I'll take that. Thank you very much, lady. So she she's come from Imeladris. So uh, Imeladris, that is Rivendell. 
Uh, now she's come here to slay some creatures. It speaks as if Saruman is their master. So she seems to know a little bit more than what we know. In terms of the story. This guy here. Uh, once we unlock level 20. We can come back to him. Uh, well, Once we unlock skirmishes. We can come back to him and he'll give us a unique skirmish. To defend this city. Skirmish is like a specialised instance. Uh, which I won't be doing. Because they are not very well balanced in my opinion. Um, I would struggle to do them. If I'm being completely honest. So this first quest that requires me to, to take out Uru, uh, Urux. I will be doing this quest. Uh, however, I won't be doing any more inside this area. Because essentially I've got another quest to go further into this area. Because um, there are a few deed items I can pick up. I think there's one deed item, two deed items I should say. And one treasure chest I can pick up. So I'll pick them up when I'm doing my next set of quests here. So that is my level. I'm now level 16. Didn't unlock any new skills. And I've got one new point, which I'm going to put straight onto my... Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm going to put on my ah, parry chance. Because this is going to depend on my tier. Of... Um, depend on my tier of fighting techniques. Give me an increased parry chance. So if I have tier 4, this maxed out with parry chance and this evade, I'd have 15% chance base to parry with 5% chance to evade. So it's 20% chance to not take damage, which is quite good. I'm going to grab this chest. Anything good inside? Okay, not, not for me, no. Some more urks. Clear these guys out relatively quickly. This aura command can do um, can buff up the other Urux quite quite a lot. However, he didn't have a chance to really use it. Another chest. Got some brushed hides, light brushed light hides, medium hides. I will keep. No, I won't be. I won't keep them. I'll end up selling them. That is a way for me to level up my tailoring. But as medium hides are uh, tailoring level two. It's pretty pointless because I can't get to Taylor in level 2 unless I level up Taylor in level 1. Which I won't be able to do unless I find a load of low level chests. These ruins are really good for chests. Or the, at least this ruin in particular. This is my fourth chest. That's that uh, item I just picked up here. Pale Brimstone. That is for me to crit my, uh, my armor. Uh, so yeah, it's crit my armor for the second tier. So barrel iron armor uh, allows me to crit that. So another chest complete grabbed. Some more brush medium level. So there's two more chests here. That this it's just chest galore. What's this chest got for me? There's a Euro uh, Euric report, which I can hand hand in somewhere. Just taking this guy out so I can grab the... Oh, he stunned me. I do have a... We'll have a stun break later on, uh, but I don't quite have that just yet. That's a wooden chest. That's me complete. So now I can go hand in a couple more quests. Okay. Not too far to hand in this quest. I think it's just this lady just down here. I've got... Should have two more to hand in. Slaying Uruks may be its own reward, but finding a clue to their purpose here is even better. Uh, this is far worse than expected. Um, for some unfavorable purpose, Sauron and the White has betrayed us. He seeks the Ring Law Eregion. The elves of Eregion were deceived before by gifts and promises of secrets. So here is when I go into the town. 
to look for some some secret knowledge essentially which i'll do in a second i'm just gonna hand in these the rest of these quests these are scattered around the city which gives me a chance to do the other quests and pick up the rest of the deeds I didn't quite do that explore quest going up there. You just have to go to the other side of that little this broken broken tower and you'll get the explore quest. Complete it, or we'll explore part of that quest. Complete it, I should say. And hand in these quests. So here, what did I just finish there? Deed bestowed. So I've finished the Swanfleet Quests deed. And now you can see that there's Swanfleet Quests, Swanfleet Slayer and Swanfleet Explorer. Like I explained in the first video uh, episode, that every map has three different types of um, deeds. These are the three types. Now I've got Swanfleet Defender, which I'll activate because it's quite a cool deed. And that's that completed. So now the only real thing I have to do is go into this area now. The only issue that I personally have is that I haven't had any virtue points given to me yet. Oh, I'd say again, I have had virtue points. I've been sitting on those. So now, because I'm not reading general chat, I, I, I don't get the pop-ups. So now I've got loyalty. So if I you look at keeping on my health, once I equip it, my vitality goes up. So I've got this increased vitality. You equip, you can equip five at a time. So I tend to make sure I grab start earning five straight away so i want loyalty that gives me good, um, some vitality and armor which is good and income and healing i believe the next one i want to go for is i believe it's one of these it's going to be justice this is justice i'm going to get justice then it might be fidelity empathy Uh, and compassion but once again even if I don't use them I don't have them active like I explained in the first video if I don't have them active the passive bonus for having them is relatively good anyway so the passive of having six morale per level is well no it goes up to so the first level gives you four then after that they give you plus two so at level 80 uh, so that's four plus two, so level eighty. That will be one hundred and sixty, one hundred and sixty, about one hundred and sixty-two more morale per um, per trait. So one hundred and sixty-two per trait is actually quite large, considering there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's fourteen thousand six hundred. That will be 2,300 odd extra morale that you gain automatically. A low level obviously adds up. It is quite a big difference. A max level obviously that's not going to be a huge amount of extra morale. But it's better than having no morale at all. So you head in here. These are the broken columns we need to inspect. When we're inspecting they're normally around. There's normally a load of wooden chests around as well. So we can grab the chests. See what we get from each chest. Okay, there's nothing great from there. Another chest. There's another. I can search this building just here. I will search that last because I'm going to go to. No, I'm not going to search this one last. I'm going to search this now. I'm going to search this one now, go around the north side, round here, and then down here. Very convoluted, but you'll see why. I always like to have like a game plan when I'm doing quests. Instead of just randomly just going off into the wilderness and hoping for the best. I always have to have a plan of what I'm going to do first, where I'm going to do it, why I'm going to do it. An aged hammer. Let's go have a look at this aged hammer. 
Hammer War and Rage nearly falls apart in your hand. It's a bit sad. It's a statue of Celebrimbor. Those that know any Lord of the Rings lore, Celebrimbor was the essentially the elf which was tricked by Sauron uh, to forge the the rings of power. Those being obviously the uh, nine nine rings for the man. This is it. Um, seven rings for dwarves or five rings for dwarves, uh, and then three rings for elves. Or how many it was, I can't remember the top of my head. This is for the Explorer Deed again, this cornerstone. If you want to come to the top north side of this city. I don't need to kill everything here. Um, I do need it really for a Slayer Deed, however. I will be uh, parting with enough of them, so I'm not too fussed. Continue my way... So this is the ruins of the uh, Wester region. Um, so I believe that that it you should be able to get into there. If I look on the map, it is this area here, which is part of uh, region, not Wester region, which is part of this, which I believe is actually an instance or an instanced area. I came this way for this treasure cache. Did I get anything good? Some copper, which I'll sell. No, I didn't get anything good. Fine. Headbutt that guy. Headbutt does a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, he's down. So come this way, because in this corner here, there is um, some more of the quest. Discarded pouch and a fallen lamp post. Right, now I need to make my way down this hill. I believe that is the right height. There we go, yeah, I'm safe. Normally I don't just jump off cliffs and hope for the best. I've I've done this route a couple times. So this is one of the going for one of the deeds, explorer deeds here. So this is kind of one of the ones that most people might not find automatically or on their own. It's really far out of the way. There's never a reason to come down here. But I guess it is a part of the Explorer deed. So you have to kind of explore to get it. So I was right. You can't get it actually. This is all walled off. So you can't actually get into here. So that makes sense. That's a higher level area. Just in there. If I get close to the wall. It might change the zone. No. Okay. They've... It doesn't. But there are some goblins around here. I think there's one or two goblins at Rome. But there's not enough to farm for my MIT, for my class. Um, I say it again, my race uh, deed. What we're looking for down here is this big oak tree over here. This big oak tree has a pendant attached to its bark. We just want to make sure we grab the pendant. There you go. Pendant received. And yeah, it's, it's quite far out of the way. You have no reason to ever come down here. So I can I could probably see why it may be missed. I've never gone through. So normally when I run back, I normally use my uh, recall. But as I've got five minutes left on its cooldown, I won't be using that just yet. So I'll be actually running back through this bottom city, which I've never gone through before. Um, I don't think many people would have gone through here because once again, there's, there's no real reason to come here. Because you normally, I normally, if I do have to go, I'll go around this top part and back round. But I may as well explore a little bit, see a part of the map I don't intend to go into. It's quite an imposing look. It would have been cool to see this place. Where's the Goblin? We'll be able to see my uh, racial enmities now. So, enmity of goblins. So for me, if I kill 50 goblins, I get I can equip this trait, racial trait. It's going to be a plus 15 fate, which is quite a good one to have. 
but there's no real uh, place around here to um, kill a load of goblins. There may be one or two in those ruins, but there's not enough to really farm those 50 kills. I'm just going to continue around. That's a bit slow. I'm going to jump on Tiny. Just to get around there, just a little bit quicker. You just see this little, this little town. I was going, love, I love Lord of the Rings. Love the lore, the world building. And I'm this, I'm a kind of guy who loves history, loves kind of the medieval kind of, the history of everything, of the world, mainly, especially of England. And going around England, seeing all these old ruins, all these old castles, and I look at them as like, I wish I could see it back in its heyday. The town I live in has an old castle. And it's a beautiful old castle, but it's, it's obviously in ruins. And it's about a quarter, a fifth of the size of the original castle. If I just see in that of uh, how they used to uh, operate the castle uh, back in its yeah, back in its prime, the size of the castle, they used to have a moat. The moat's now gone. Um, they used to have a waterway going up to the the base of the castle that no longer ha that no longer um, works. It's just sad. These are sad reminders of times long. But that's 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 a little bit of me nerding out. It would have been cool. Most of my people came to live in the land of Lindon to the west. Okay. So I'm just quickly pray saying through this. This is essentially turned the law of the second age. Yes, second age. So we're in the third age now. Yes. So now if we talk to her, we will start this quest. So, in this, it's essentially lore-wise, Sauron went to, no, I'd open the map. So you've got the, oh, okay. So, Lindon, so after the First Age, Morgoth essentially invaded the Elven Lands, which is to the west of, um, which is no longer really exists, to the west, which has now been sunk. Uh, all the elves that managed to survive essentially fled east. A lot of them settled in Lindon, uh, which you can't really go where well, you can't go to in this game realistically. Um, a lot of them settled in Lindon. Some of them settled in uh, Eriador in a place called Eregion. So they had this uh, all these uh, elven cities. This is Eregion. Uh, used to trade with Moria, and Moria and Eregion they both kind of prospered with this. So this used the city I'm stood in now is a major was the major city in the area. When Morgoth essentially lost his initial form, he managed to regain, um, had, well, Morgoth lost his form. So Sauron then kind of uh, traveled around the world as Morgoth's kind of vessel. He went to Numenor, which is the home of the city of the humans, the made the higher humans, because two different, versions humans you've got the Numenorians and you've got the normal humans uh Numenor was the home of the obviously the, the, which came to be the people of like the Dunedain uh in Middle Earth so I went to Numenor said to try to convince them to essentially turn become corrupt he joined their court but he and um and essentially uh after joining their court um Managed to convince the Numenorians who I think go to war. But there, yeah, besides the point, um, he then failed with corrupting the Numenorians and uh, Numenor was uh, sunk. And then he came, he managed to come to here to Eregion, to the city itself, and this is where this kicks off. We'll learn a bit of the story here of what he managed to do with the elves uh, before he essentially caused another war, which ended the Second Age. Um, a rather large war which has left most of Middle Earth itself very sparse. A lot of these old cities were ruined, uh, which is a direct uh, consequence of what happened here, which I will leave on a cliff uh, cliffhanger. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll cover this in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. If you can like the video, subscribe to my channel.
some social stuff in the uh, description itself. And I hope you have a great day and peace out.